morning. Today we are going to design full subtractor using half subtractor. Okay, that means how to design full subtractor using half subtractor only. We should not use any other gates. Only half subtractors are given and you have to convert or design full subtractor. Last class also we have seen full adder using half adder. The same principle we are going to use. Okay. And already we have seen full subtractor and the equation for the full subtractor is that means two outputs are there one is difference another is borrow and difference output is a xr b xr c okay that means three inputs are or xr therefore this is the difference output and borrow output see I have written the equation uh, sorry min term itself okay I have not solved in the full ladder, I have solved the equation. Here also, I am going to solve this equation. Okay. And say, how to solve this. First, this is, C is there and here also C is there. Okay. Therefore, A bar B bar plus A B and this is C. That means I have taken this and this. Okay. I have taken C common. And if you take this plus A bar B, C bar plus C. Okay. I have taken this and this. I have taken this and this. Now this is X naught. Okay. This is X naught. Plus this is a bar b c plus c bar is equal to one. Therefore, already you know this is equal to one. Therefore, this is why I am simplifying like this because in the half adder, okay, sorry, half subtractor, half subtractor, you are giving two input a and b, and you are getting two outputs. What are the two outputs? One is A bar B, another is A X or B, another is A X or B. Okay. In the half header, you got only A B. Here, complement is there. Okay. Therefore, I have taken this type of form, complemented form. Okay. Now, we have to go for another half subtractor. Therefore, another half subtractor, half subtractor and uh, full subtractor means three inputs will be there therefore you give your third input C now you give this input to this okay now what will be your output this out, that means two input means one is XOR and another is one is complement another come will come as it is therefore here XOR will come. Okay. Therefore, A XOR, B XOR, C. Okay. That means this input 1 and this input 1. That means these two inputs are XOR. Okay. Just like these two inputs are XOR. Okay. XOR output. Now here, other input is A or B only. That means one input is complemented. Other than this, one input is, compl one input is complemented. Therefore, this input is complemented. That means first input is complemented. Here also first input is complemented. Therefore, this input is complemented. Therefore, if you get a complement means, what you will get? A X or B complement. Okay. This first input is, that means this is the first input, this is the second input. First input is complemented with the second and other input is two inputs are XOR. Here also this is one input, this is another input. This is one input, this is another input. Therefore in the second it is a XOR form and the first is one is complemented and another you go to go for a multiplication. Okay that means A bar B. Here this input complement by multiplied by C. And what will be your borrow output? This is your borrow output okay that means here c i have missed here c i have right this c i have missed okay now 
this is one output and this is another output just like in the full adder using half adder you just go for a one more or gate therefore you go for one or gate here you go for one or gate and this output goes to this input and you take a lead from this and go this actually this output is not there okay output is there but i have we have not taken this okay only the, you <coughs> write this but it is not output okay and this is your borrow output and this is your difference output okay now using two hop subtractor we have designed full subtractor additionally we have used one or gate okay we have not used any other complicated circuit simply two hop subtractor one or gate there also to half adder and one or gate okay thank you please subscribe and comment